Yo, what's good, YouTube? It's your boy Dealey back again with another video. So today I'm here to review Mowgli, Legend of the Jungle. Um, I'm going to be honest with you. I went into this movie thinking to myself, why do we have like another Jungle Book movie? Because we literally just got um, Disney's remake of the Jungle Book like two years ago directed by John Favreau. So I went into this thinking, okay, this is going to be the same beat for beat film with little added scenes. You know, if you've seen the trailer, you know, like, you know, they added more stuff to the movie. But in my mind, I was just like, okay, what's the point for this? But after watching this movie, I was wrong. Andy Serkis, you did a great job directing this film. I was completely blown away. This film is based on um, a couple of the old novels based on the Jungle Book. I haven't read them. Um, but this film does follow the same formula as the Jungle Book, such as um, 2016's Jungle Book. Um, you know, this film follows Mowgli, who was rescued by Bagheera, the um, the Black Panther, um, when he was, you know, a baby, he was taken to the wolf pack to be cared for. <clears throat> but this film is different as terms for the Jungle Book, what we all know and love. Um, some of the characters, their roles have switched. Like, Baloo is no longer like the singing bear. Like, there's no bare necessities there's none of that this movie it was gritty more grounded and more realistic if you ask me in my opinion um this movie goes deeper with the character Mowgli um of course you know there's that Mowgli and Shere Khan dynamic in the, in, in the movie but there's more at stake here. Um, you get more of Mowgli's story, what he's trying to prove in this movie, and, and and I like that about this. You know, he's he's trying to prove himself to the wolf pack. Basically, that the entire movie, he feels like he doesn't belong. Um, this movie is not only focused on his safety from Shere Khan, but Mowgli trying to prove himself. You know, he there's a line in this movie where he's like you know he wakes up you know a human but he wishes he was a wolf so it's that dynamic and you feel for Mowgli and I like that about this movie you feel deeper for the characters um as I said before some of the characters roles has switched like I don't want to get too deep with that because it can lead to spoilers and I don't want to spoil it um but the only character that I feel that um, were like stayed true was Shere Khan. <laughs> but all the other characters, their roles are kind of switch. But if you watch the movie, it works. Like I wasn't even mad. Um, especially the character Call. I'm not gonna go deep into that, but Call has a different role in this film, which I kind of liked. Um, there's a scene in this movie where it's kind of heartbreaking, like, it's like a major twist to this film, and when you see this scene, it's going to break your heart, because a scene happens before that, that's going to leave you like, oh my gosh, and it almost makes you want to cry, um, there's more interaction with the actual man village itself. Not gonna go too deep into that because it can lead to spoilers. Um, but yeah, this movie was definitely surprising um, for me. Like, it was really good. Uh, I will say that it is PG 13. And that's one thing that caught me off guard when I saw this um, movie before I clicked on Netflix. I was like, wow, this movie is PG-13. But watching this movie, like I said, it's well-grounded. It's, it's more grounded and 
gritty. <laughs> And now I see why they picked uh, an older kid. Well, not he's not older, older, but he's a little older than um, John Favreau's um, Jungle Book um, Mowgli. And they had him doing more stuff in this movie to where it's like, okay, now I see why it's PG-13. And yeah, um, and the actors that um, were involved in this movie, Christian Bale. Um, Andy Serkis, uh, Kate Blanchett, um, Benedict Cumberbatch, they um, did like the motion capture and you can actually tell in the character's face that who's, whose it is. Um, I thought that was really cool. The only downfall I had with this movie were the CGI at some points. Like you can tell that they were kind of like not complete. Or like it kind of looked like straight cartoon at some points, especially with Baloo. Um, I felt that at times his face was like off. But those are like nitpicky things. But other than that, this movie is really good. I actually hope this gets a Blu-ray release because I definitely would want this in my um, collection. So. <clears throat> Mowgli on Netflix, please check that out. Um, really good. Uh, really blew me away. It definitely, um, it it definitely is a little departure from Disney's Jungle Book because, like I said, this one is it goes deeper. <laughs> it goes deeper. You know, it's not just trying to save Mowgli from Shere Khan. It's a lot of character dynamic in this in this movie but um yeah definitely check that out you know if you like my review please hit the like button subscribe share whatever you guys feel and as always it's your boy Billy signing off